Britt Hume is Fox's senior political analyst, and he joins us tonight. Britt, um, the fact or the idea uh, from our source that Paul Manafort was working for the Podesta Group on behalf of Russian interests before running the Trump campaign changes this story completely, it seems to me. It does change it completely, Tucker. Um, it suggests that what collusion there may have been was between Paul Manafort and the Podesta Group on behalf of Russian interests. Uh, and the Podesta Group is these two guys, Tony and, and uh, John, they lie at the heart of the Democratic Party and certainly of the, of the Clintons and their political endeavors. So this changes the whole character and focus. And it does raise also the question, Tucker, I mean, you're coming around to, to getting at this now, and that's remarkable on your part to have gotten this, uh, this source to come and talk to you. How could it be that all exactly. these journalists working for other that's news right. organizations have been chasing this story, lo these many months, and never ran across any of this? Remarkable indeed. Well, that is exactly the point. But this does point. change things. It, well, I mean, how, how could, actually, I mean, you've been in journalism longer than I've been alive. How could the central front group that Manafort was representing, it, it, is go, go, the money goes through the Podesta Group and nobody notices? I mean, the Podesta Group has 75 employees in Washington. Nobody has mentioned that to a journalist in the past 11 months. I find that not believable. Well, well I find it's, it's, it's pretty striking, and it suggests that the work that's been done on this story has not been uh, of, the, of the best quality, or this would have turned up. And, and I'd also suggest that you have a, a, a pack of journalists who are so determined to follow one storyline that they completely miss this. So this is, a, but this is a big deal on a lot of levels, and it is particularly noteworthy, Tucker, that we hear that Robert Mueller is on this and that suggests that his investigation, which might have been initially about Russian efforts to influence the election, uh, is now a much more broad-gauged effort to determine the extent and depth of Russian efforts to influence American policy going back a, of several years. And if that's the case, and if all that you, we hear about the Podestas is true, it seems to me that the Democrats have been complaining about this and, and, and making all kinds of allegations about this all this time uh, are going to be very disappointed in its outcome. Well, yeah. I mean, considering that for the last year we've heard that America faces no greater foe, has never faced a greater foe than Putin's Russia, and they're seeking to undermine our democracy, destroy our country. And now it turns out that two of the people closest to Hillary Clinton were working for them. I mean, I, I don't really know yeah, how and, Democrats will respond to that. Well, it's also the case, too, of course, if we, if we look at this Uranium One matter uh, that is coming more and more to light. It appears that we have the Obama administration in its effort to seek a closer relationship with Russia acquiescing in a sale of materials that are strategic and that could certainly be argued place American security interests at some risk. And, you know, all of this going on, of course, while and this has been known, this unlike this, what you've just reported, has been known for some time, but it seems to be becoming into fo sharper focus at the moment and will be the subject of congressional investigations going forward. Uh, so Democrats can scream a lot, and they no doubt will, that all that's a diversion. But I'm beginning to think that those claims and, 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 and the accusations are going to ring a little hollow in light of what you're reporting and what's else, what else is coming out even as we speak tonight. We can't get a Democrat on the show uh, tonight. We, we couldn't get a member of Congress. We, of course, reached out immediately to the Podesta Group for comment on what we found. We didn't hear back um, from them. As if there isn't enough news today, there's late breaking news that apparently the information that comprised the now famous dossier that D BuzzFeed printed, that, that information was paid for by the DNC and the Hillary Clinton presidential campaign. Um, right. I, I'm not and even you, sure how to respond know, to this. You know, well, it's striking because, you know, that, that dossier, um, even as it appeared at the time, was pretty widely recognized even among media unsympathetic to Donald Trump as scurrilous, and a lot of it was, was demonstrably false. So this was a pretty shabby piece of business here. And if it turns out that, you know, as we now believe, that it was paid for uh, in considerable measure by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Party, uh, and of course this contained within it, um, Tucker, was, were allegations about Trump collusion with the Russians. So that tends to soil that whole allegation uh, even further. So the tide may be now turning in all this in political terms, and one might also hope in journalistic terms.
kind of brazen, though. I mean, if one of your chief fundraisers and the guy who's running your campaign is, in effect, working with Paul Manafort, it's a little brazen for you to run around claiming that Paul Manafort, when he worked for Donald Trump, was colluding with the Russians. No? I mean, what does it take to, to claim something like that? Well, yeah, brazen might be the right word. Um, you know, one hardly, one hardly knows what to say about that. But um, it certainly reveals a, uh, another side of the story that may be bigger and more important than these allegations, which have yeah. so far remained virtually without evidence. The, the, the allegations of collusion between the, between the Trump campaign itself and the president, the man who's now president, and the Russians is virtually non-existent after all these months. Yes. And now we hear about all this other stuff. So once, as I suggest, uh, Tucker, the tide may be, now be turning in all this and not in a way that Democrats are going to enjoy. No, I'd be concerned if I were the Podesta's very concerned. Britt, thank you very much for that. Yeah. Appreciate it. You bet, Tucker.